this camera doesn't have much drip to it. Speaking of drip, affluent. Affluent means what? Huh? No. You're rich. Means you're rich. Affluent means rich. Right? Feasible. When you say something's feasible, it comes up a lot of times in government discussions, like whether or not this project is feasible. Okay, close. Say you have the. Is this reliable? Okay, closer. Likely. Huh? Likely. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go with that. It means that it's it's possible or it's a doable plan. So when you say something's not feasible, it means it's not possible. It's not going to happen. It's not. Uh, they're not able to do it. Discern. You know, you should know discern. Gabby, to discern. I discern, yeah, exactly. Oh, great, this marker's going to do. Perceive or to sense. Sally. A lot of us would think this is a really boring white girl's name. But Sally actually is a verb. And when you say someone sallies forth, or they sally ahead, they lie something. No? To sally. They do it suddenly. To sally means to charge or to run out of. When I say run out of, I don't mean run out of money. I mean run out of some kind of fort or something like that. They run out. Ah! That's to sally. Doesn't sound like a girl named Sally. Yeah. Could you imagine a bunch of Sallys sallying? Okay, consternation. Consternation kind of sounds like what it is. I'm consternated. Almost sounds like constipated. But that's a different meaning. Angry? Okay, close. Anxious. Mm, getting kind of farther away. Yeah, it's more like frustration. Okay, so you're consternated. Consternation. What is consternation? Let's see. Amusement or dismay that throws into confusion. Yes, that's pretty close. Precocious. Precocious is a word that you probably will hear sometimes with puberty. So if someone has precocious puberty, it means that they have puberty at the age of seven or eight. Which means that it, it's like early. abnormally early. So precocious means early or um, before expected. Perfunctory. A lot of you students at home kind of embody the idea of perfunctory. Yeah, it means just kind of like a minimal effort. He did it. He gave it a perfunctory try. He's like, eh, it'll be okay. Hmm. Chagrin. That's a sh that's like a Chicago grin. It's a chagrin. People in Chicago they don't gr grin, so this would be a what? Someone looked it up. Chagrin. Much to his chagrin. Kind of the same as consternation in a way. Distress or embarrassment. I go with distress. I don't really see it in, in like the times I've seen it used in literature, it's usually not embarrassment so much as it is just being flummoxed, being upset. And it's always used in this phrase, much to his or her chagrin. In other words, 
she was like pissed off by it, or she was upset. Okay, perverse. You should know perverse because of its root pervert. Perverted. Perverted, perverse, it, it doesn't really mean just like sexually, what? Desire. Perverted. It means kind of strange, yeah, strange, weird. weird. And then to deride. There's a lot of derision that goes on at this high school. This is nice. People do deride each other constantly. That is insult. these are your 10 words for the week. Affluent. So Bill Gates is a very affluent person. Feasible. It's feasible that you might graduate this school. Discern. I discern that there are seven people in this room. Sally. He sallied forth back home. Consternation. He was consternated by Earth. He felt consternation from seeing his quiz grade. Precocious. Uh, let's see, she act, well, usually when we say precocious, it's like children that act like adults, also as well. So, in other words, you know, you see a 12-year-old outside smoking a cigar. That's kind of a precocious thing, right? You ever seen a 12-year-old smoke a cigar? Too big for your britches. Yeah, too big for your britches, too early. Uh, perfunctory, the student attempted a perfunctory job at his project. Much to the chagrin of his teacher. Um, perverse. So a lot of times also that the perverse is used with pleasure and not in the kind of dirty, you know, way, but like, so he, he took, he had a perverse pleasure in seeing his friend fall off the bleachers straight onto his face. So he's like, hee -hee -hee -hee, in a way that nobody else would do, right? Everyone else would go, oh, that looks like it's painful. And he was like, he, he got hurt. And then finally deride. All the students derided each other for being racist. So those are our ten words. That's